Now generators are something that is quite exciting. They're actually very, very cool function types. Now, whenever I teach, I like to use an analogy, comparing something to something. Well, you can actually compare generators to, let's say, a traffic system. It's controlled. I like saying it's a mapped execution context, meaning there are certain parts of the execution context that can be invoked, and then you can create stop signs all over your function. When you get in your car, what you have in your mind is a map. And then what you do is as you drive along, eventually you're going to yield. You're gonna to yield to oncoming traffic at a junction. You're gonna to yield to stop signs or yield signs. And you can come up to a red traffic light. That's a yield light. It means stop here, give way. Well, likewise, we can actually throw up a lot of stop signs, yields, in our function. And what's really nice about this is that we have a nice map that goes off here where we can execute not all of the function, but just part of the function. So it's a mapped execution context. So think of it like this. A regular function, when I invoke it, it will run all of the commands within its execution context, within the braces, all those commands will be executed and then, you know, it will return a value. But this can cause a little bit of a problem because if you think about it, let's say I want to analyze some data. I just want to break something up real quick. So I have three functions over here. Now, as you know, with regular functions, whatever is in between the braces will get executed. So that's an old type function. But let's say I want to do some analysis over here. So I want a function here and I'm going to invoke that function and then it stops and then I do some analysis over here and then I have another function and I do some analysis over here and then I invoke the third function and I do some analysis over here. So I have three functions and in between those functions I analyze data like so. But that was the old way of doing things. I had three functions right here that did a very similar job. And I would actually like that to just be one function. That helps me to simplify my code. Well, that's why generators are so special. Because what generators allow you to do, just like when you get in your car, is allow you to stop and go. So take this example where I now have just one function. And this function is going to contain stop signs, yield signs. So I start the execution of my function. I say go ahead and start. So it starts executing until it hits the first yield sign, the first stop sign. That's why you yield in traffic because you are giving way. Well, what are we doing with programming? Well, we're giving way to another process that could happen over here. So I can analyze the data that was returned. And then I can say after the analysis, invoke the same function. So we're still working with the same function here, but go ahead and invoke it again. Ah, and it knows where it last stopped. Like, just like when you stop at a traffic light, you've not just forgotten and you go right back onto your driveway. No, you're still at that same stoplight. So what I can do is I can say, look, carry on. So that's exactly what it does. It carries on until it hits the next yield, next stop. And when it yields, it allows the PHP compiler to run a different task over here. So I'm gonna analyze the data that's returned from that yield. And then finally, I'm gonna invoke the exact same function. And then I can have that last little bit of the execution context to execute. And again, I could run some of that data and I can analyze it over here once it's all finished and said and done. So hopefully now you can see the importance of this. Instead of having three separate functions with three different names that can do a very similar job, I can now lexically, easily, which means in order, as is, read this map out very easily in my mind. I can see there's a stop sign there, there's a stop sign there, there's a yield sign, if you will. And then I can invoke some of those commands within the execution context of the generator, but not all of the commands, not like the old functions where everything gets executed. No, I can control it. I can map out what I want executing. So hopefully now you can see that this allows us to map out. It allows us to create a roadmap for our execution context. And this is why it's so special. It's a really, really cool feature, especially 
when you know you want to analyze data. It's a very, very cool thing.